Hey guys, this is Hal and welcome to my channel. So today we're going to be doing some an amazing, uh, so today we're going to be doing a tutorial using this amazing palette. So this palette is by Joer and it's by their new Skinny Dip Collection. Oh my god guys, I have to say this, skinny, their Skinny Dip Collection is so amazing. It has this amazing foil eyeshadow palette and it also has, um, they have some amazing lip toppers and some really really cool highlight and the amazing blinding highlighter. So, so shook. Like literally the, the highlighters, oh my god, they're amazing. Like really so blinding and so pigmented. Like oh my god. So I bought this foil eyeshadow palette and it's like it has so I'm gonna go ahead and open this up so it has a uh, one two three oh I'm just literally just counting okay, so one two three five okay so it has six amazing shimmer eyeshadows as you guys can see oh, yes because I'm gonna go ahead and dive into this palette today um so yes guys yay so let's go so guys, I've already like primed my lids and I'm like put my foundation on and stuff because I feel like it like always saves time. So yes guys, I'm so I'm so I'm just gonna go ahead and get started. So before I dip into this amazing I had a palette, um I'm gonna go ahead and put some like transition colors and stuff like that. So for that I'm gonna be using this amazing modern renaissance palette by Anastasia. So ignore my foot uh, fingerprints guys because they're like everywhere because I always like put like dirty hands on them and like and on every eyeshadow palette so yes and so this palette is also a very very amazing i think it's like amazing it's like worth buying because there's all the summery kind of colors and i don't even know if that's a word but summery colors and all if you're like a neutral fan and stuff like that then this palette is definitely for you like yes this palette slays my life all the time so so yes guys i'm gonna go ahead and get started so for so first is, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and use tape. So I always use makeup tape for like, I, I always use makeup tapes and for like my eye, like just kind of like for my eyeshadow because I feel like it's very, very helpful. And if you're a beginner, then this is actually very, very helpful. So I'm like out of makeup tape right now. So I'm going to go ahead and use this, use this tape. This is scotch tape, I think. So that you can just find it like anywhere in, in any stationery shop or even like anywhere. So yes, guys, so I'm going to go ahead and put this like in my outer corner. So because I feel like it helps my eyeshadow stay in place because I don't want my eyeshadow to be like everywhere so I'm gonna go ahead and use this and I'm gonna go ahead and just put it like right where my eyebrows end right here so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and get I know I look so funny oh my god I look funny but it really helps so if you're a beginner then you should definitely like um, use this trick because it's very very helpful so I'm gonna go ahead and get started I'm gonna stop talking and it's gonna get started so Next is, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and use my Morphe E27, which is right over here. And I'm going to go ahead and dip into Burnt Orange, which is this like light neutral orange type of color. So I'm going to go ahead and dip into that. So I'm going to go ahead and take a little bit before first and then I'll see like how much I want. Because I don't want like a lot. So I'm going to go ahead and start off with some little... So... I'm just gonna go ahead and take a little bit more just like to kind of like just blend it more so so I feel like this is good so what I'm gonna um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and use real guard which is right over this is a bright orange red kind of color so I'm gonna go ahead and use that and I'm gonna go ahead and put this in my crease as well just to like kind of darken up my crease so I'm gonna go ahead and put it right here. I hate this tape so much like so annoying it just keeps coming off okay so I'm gonna go ahead and put this in my crease Okay, so the next things I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take my Morphe M441. This is right over here and I'm going to go ahead and dip into real uh, red ochre. Which is like kind of like dark red brown kind of color. So I'm going to go ahead and use that. I'm not going to go ahead and use like a lot because I feel like this, this is an amazing eyeshadow palette. But it has, but they are like way too pigmented. So if you're going to use like a lot, it's going to like, you're going to like experience some fallout. So I'm going to go ahead and start off with a, with like a little bit. And then I'm going to see how much I need. So I'm going to go ahead and take a little bit. I'm gonna, and I'm going to go ahead and put this in my outer corner. The 
the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead I know it looks kind of like a little bit messier but at the end like I'm just gonna go ahead and blend it all so it's gonna look kind of like way way better than what it is now so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and use Cypress Umber which is right over here it's a like dark brown kind of color like right over here and I'm gonna go ahead and put this in my outer corner as well just to like darken it up a little bit more so I'm gonna go ahead and dip and do like the not a lot just like a little bit because these are too pigmented so I don't want like a lot so I'm gonna go ahead and put this over here I'm just gonna go ahead and take like a little bit more a little bit just like not a lot because they are way too pigmented so so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and go back with my E27 and I'm gonna go ahead and use Real Guard and Burnt Orange like all over like again just to like blend the edges a little bit more take this off and look guys it's like so like kind of like so aligned and not like all over the place so this really helps me so i'm gonna go ahead and dip into this okay so all guys i've been waiting for and so yes guys so i so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go ahead and use skinny dip which is right over here this one and i'm gonna go ahead and um use my morphe m2 which i'm just gonna go ahead and wet this brush a little bit because i feel like it's gonna be like so these are super pigmented but i feel want to like uh like um just kind of if you like really want um this to be like more and more pigmented and like really stand out then i feel like you should like um kind of like wet your brush a little so i'm gonna go ahead and just gonna smash while it's primer water i'm gonna go ahead and kind of wet my brush do some spray action and i'm gonna go ahead and use skinny dip which is right over here this one i'm gonna go ahead and use it on my lid and so so i'm just gonna go ahead and use like a little bit more with my Morphe M, uh, a Morphe M E27, E27, sorry. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and use a Morphe E27. I'm gonna go ahead and dip, get, go back to this palette. I'm gonna go ahead and use red, uh, red ochre a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and blend the edges out. I'm gonna go ahead and dip it on this. I'm gonna go ahead and use it over here, kind of. Just should like blend all the edges that it doesn't look like it's not blended at all, so. I'm gonna go ahead and go for the eyeliner and so I'm gonna go ahead so for me using my um, Stila stay all day um, liquid waterproof liquid eyeliner and okay, so you have to be like very very careful with your eyeliner because you want to be like um, right like um, aligned with your eyeshadow line so i'm gonna go i don't know what it's called so i'm gonna, gonna take eyeshadow line so you just want it to be like very very like right next to your or uh, like right on that line so i'm gonna go ahead and so you so it's better if you do it very slowly then do it do it like very very fast because you can make mess up because everyone can mess up so yes guys <laughs> make sure you just you don't do that because i don't know like i've heard that if you do this then you get wrinkles and stuff like i don't know like i just heard about this so i just don't do that so i just usually like do this i know it's really really hard but it's like it's better if you do that do it this way Okay, so I feel like I'm almost done and it doesn't look that bad as I was expecting. I was expecting something like pretty horrible because I don't know, like whenever I, when I was doing this today, um, during the day, it took me like, I think 20 to 25 minutes to do like both ties. So I was kind of like, okay, I'm going to mess up and because, and I'm like teaching y'all and I'm messing up and all, but it actually doesn't look that bad. So... Okay, so time for my under eyes. So for my under eyes, I'm going to be using Cypress Umber and Red Ochre from the Modern Renaissance palette. And I'm going to go ahead and use this brush. 
use this brush morphe i don't know what uh, number this is because i bought this as a set so i don't know so i'm gonna go ahead and so i'm gonna go ahead and use this first because this is kind of like a little bit more thick from for my under eyes so and it really really like drags the eyeshadow like really really down which i don't want so i'm gonna go ahead and use just like a little bit of red ochre uh, and a little bit of super somber and i'm gonna go ahead and put it in my under my eyes this brush is kind of weird. I'm gonna go ahead and just use this one, Morphe M210, because I feel like this one's like it's not working and it's like really really hard. So I'm gonna go ahead and use red ochre and super umber. I'm gonna go ahead and smoke it out. Okay, so this looks pretty good. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and dip into Prima Primavera, which is right over here. I'm gonna go ahead and put it like right in the beginning, like right over here. So I'm gonna go ahead and use my Morphe M507, and I'm gonna go ahead and put this like right over here, like right in the beginning. Okay, so. The next is I'm gonna go ahead and so this looks pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and use just a little bit more. Okay, so this looks amazing and better than I was expecting. So what I'm gonna do is I'm, uh, this literally just went into my eye. So yes, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and dip into this palette again, and I'm gonna go ahead and I was I will be using Starlight, which is uh, Starlight, which is right over here, silver, and I'm gonna go ahead and put this in my inner corner so i'm gonna go ahead and use the same brush m morphe m507 i'm just gonna go ahead and put this like right in my inner corner oh my inner corner okay so yes guys i am okay so this looks pretty good so yeah okay so my left eye is all done yeah so i'm gonna go ahead and do my other eye my lashes and stuff off camera and i'll be right back hey guys i'm back yay so i did my other eyes and other eye and my lashes and my lip color so for lip color i used um unicorn blood by jeffree star so i was actually thinking of doing a nude lip but um i don't know i just thought that maybe i should go for a red because i love red lips literally like they're my favorite even if i don't have any makeup on I just put i just put this on and I, like literally just amazing i just love this color this color so so much i'm like so obsessed with it like really so i just use this color and it looks it looks actually looks really really good with this new look it like kind of goes with the golden golden stuff so yes guys and um some final thoughts of um for this is this was actually for 40 bucks and i feel like this is actually worth buying it because look at these shades they're super super pigmented like oh my god and you can like you don't even need to wet your brush but you can if you want extra pigmentation if you want some so i would i would literally totally recommend this it's amazing like literally it's like slaying my life right now i'm like using it every day and they're like really really good and they don't even like have like a lot of fallout they actually have no fallout even though it has that it has like a lot of pigment it mostly usually glitters and shimmer eyeshadows do have fallout but i would have to say that this doesn't have any so yes guys that was it and i hope you guys really really enjoyed this video you guys are amazing and i love you guys so so much and thanks for watching you guys can also follow me on twitter and on instagram and it's the same the basic way so yes guys so i'm gonna be doing my updated foundation routine um this week because i just made like a lot of changes in my foundation routine and stuff so yes guys i hope to see you soon in my next video Bye!